Hello, welcome back to Linux Wednesdays, where we look at Linux tips and tricks on a Wednesday. This week's video, I'm going to be showing you the history command in the Linux terminal, which allows you to search through your history of all the commands you typed in in the Linux terminal. So if we open up a new terminal window, I made the text bigger so it's easier to read, you can go through your history by using the up and down arrow keys. See there, going through it all. Now, the beauty about using up and down is if I typed in, say, clear, and press enter, it's going to clear our screen. Now, rather than type clear out again, I can just press up from the previous command and press enter there. If I wish to display all my commands I've typed in in the terminal, I can type in history. You see there, it's got a list of commands. Go up there and I can scroll through them all by using the uh, sidebar here to go up and down. Now, you'll see by the side of it, it's got numbers. So, 1168, for example, is ls and say 1172 is man ch mod to change the uh, mode of a file and you can see there so 1103 is ll and 1107 is clear so if i go down to the bottom and do a shift number one explanation point and 1107 it's going to execute the clear command now if i type in history and pipe it for a program called more and press enter it's going to display a list of commands and then we can use spacebar to go through to the next page and so on so 1015 set serial 1017 cat so we can display with the output to tty usb1 which is what i was using for the uh sending the terminal output to the old bbc micro Press Q to quit. Now, if we should just display the last five commands I've done, I do history followed by n, which would be a number, so we're going to do a five. There you go, it's going to display the last five commands. So, clear, history, clear, history, more, and so on. If I do a clear to clear the screen again, and if I do a control R, which is reversed minus I minus search, and I can just type in a command, so st. And it's going to go through and list every command that's got ST in it, and I can use Control and R to go through, and so on. Now, if I wish to edit the commands, just press the right arrow, and it says history there. And I can then go to the end of the line and edit the commands. If I type in Control and R, and we do a CL, you see clear. If I wish to run the command, I can just press Enter, and it runs the command. Now, if I wish to have the time format, so Mine's got the time and date there. How I got that was by typing in export and then hist time and then format equals quotation and percentage capital F percentage capital T space and we close with a quote. We're going to press enter. And now if I type in history, you'll see there we've got a, a date stamp for the history. Now for some reason, mine only displays today's date. So the 10th of the 1st, 2022 is when I'm recording it. If I go up, it's every command I'm using is still displaying the 10th of the 1st. So it tells me that at quarter to, quarter to 10 this evening, I've done the LS command, Neo fetch and so on. Let's go up to the very, very top. It tells me the same night. I typed in echo, which I was doing from terminal one to terminal two. If you watched that video, how to send terminal output from one terminal to a different terminal. Let's go down to the bottom of the page. You can always do a man history to read the manual page. You can do a control minus, 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 so you can read the page a bit easier there. And there we go. That was a quick look at the history command in Linux. It does a lot more than what I've shown you. It just allows you to display your history. If you think, well, what was the command I typed in? You can just use Control R and type in a command. What was I using? So, for example, again, we're doing another quick example. Um, what did I use to stop the serial port? Just type in stop. You see there it says system CTL stop serial dash getty at tty usb1 dot service. If you found the video of some use, you know what to do. Yeah, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like the video, the other button seems to work too. But as always, thank you very much for watching Linus Wednesdays. I'll see you in the next video.